this video, I've got an amazing breakthrough to tell you all about. I discovered this when I was working on my previous video. In that video, I couldn't show the final stones because I went to treat them at the end, and I left them in sulfuric acid too long, and they turned black, and you could hardly see the color. So I just finished the video without showing the final stones. What I discovered is a new way to remove the treatment without grinding. It seems like I have a different amazing breakthrough every couple of videos. Didn't I have one like the one before last? You see, at the end of the last video, I retreated the stones once they were polished completely, but I left them in sulfuric acid too long and they turned black and you could hardly see the color, so I just left that out of the video. Now, I know what you're saying. Another amazing breakthrough? Doesn't this guy have an amazing breakthrough like every other video? Is this like the network news where every night it's breaking news, whether it's really breaking or significant at all? Breaking news tonight, a huge shift for President Trump. Is it like that? No, it's not like that. Of course not. Would I do that to you? Don't answer that. But before we get to the breaking news, now these are the opals that I treated in my video called unbelievable discovery. I get asked the question, particularly in this video, are the stones worth more treated or are they worth more untreated? Invariably, I reply to the comment that, look, it doesn't matter if they're treated or untreated because you can just remove the treatment. It's only about a half a millimeter thick or maybe a millimeter and you can just grind it off and start over. It's like a big eraser. Only made out of steel and diamonds. So are you ready for the amazing breakthrough? Well, here it is. Bleach. Laundry bleach. Chlorine bleach. Or as we at Pulitzer Opal call it, sodium hypochlorite. Well, that's what we call it. And by we, I mean me. Because Sheila is not good with long words. And other complex things, if you know what I mean. You're always using long words. I can't understand what they mean. So what the heck is bleach? Well, bleach is just a chemical that's used to decolorize things. Now, there are many chemicals that will bleach things. What about hydrogen peroxide? I know you blondes out there are hitting the old peroxide bottle. Am I right? You don't have to admit it to me. But some people are going to find out, like your spouse or significant other and your hairdresser. They will know. I guarantee it. Believe me, men don't care if you got your blonde hair from a bottle of peroxide or from a bottle of DNA. They don't care. Men are stupid. I'm a man. Draw your own conclusions. But if you're going to bleach your hair, use peroxide, not chlorine bleach. No matter how much you want to express your inner blonde. The results will be, well, disappointing. But the bald look is big now, so maybe you'll get some looks anyway. What the heck is this? Hydrogen peroxide. Sheila? Where did you get this? Oh no. Now you're just gonna have to let it grow out. Well, I actually discovered that bleach would remove the treatment, the black color on treated Andamooka matrix opal about five years ago. I had this container of bleach. I'm not sure why I had it. I do like chemicals. And I was probably using it for something illicit. Or maybe I just wanted to be a blonde. I'd look great as a blonde, by the way. Of course, you'll never see me. Or will you? Well, I had this container of bleach. It was actually a jar. And I don't know why, but I put a piece of treated Andamooka Matrix Opal into it. I just do things. And sometimes my mind just doesn't even know what I'm doing. Uh, it's sort of an eye-hand thing. No brain involved. You might consider it sort of like uh, Tourette's of the hand. 
About three to six months after I put the Matrix Opal into the bleach bottle, I was looking through my chemical warehouse. You have to have a chemical warehouse. Everybody does. And I came across that jar of bleach. The opal was on its side and was halfway submerged in the bleach. And I noticed that the side that was actually in the bleach was much lighter than the other side. I made a mental note of that. Hey, brain, remember this. My brain never listens to me. Nobody listens to me. So, after the failure of the last video in which I over-treated the final stones and blackened them, I decided that I'm going to try some bleach for real. Now, I could have just taken that opal, ground off the treatment with a grinder, and then repolished them. Well, retreat them, then repolish them. But it's something I have to confess. I'm kind of lazy. Kind of really lazy. I am ashamed of it. And people tease me by saying things like, Get off your butt and do something, you lazy shit. And that kind of hurts. But not as much as actually doing stuff that I'd rather not do. So out of laziness, I decided to try to find a way to remove the treatment without having to regrind and repolish. I considered the fact that it might be a really slow process, like three to five months. It took that long to remove half of the treatment in the one that I tried a few years ago. That's when my vast knowledge of chemistry kicked in. I know from my chemistry training that the best way to speed up any chemical reaction is to add heat. So I decided that 120 degrees Fahrenheit, at that temperature, I might be able to remove some of the black in two or four weeks rather than three to six months. Here are the stones before I put them in bleach. Put the top on loosely and I'm gonna put it, you can hardly see anything, I'll put it in my uh, oven at 120 degrees for a couple of days and see what happens. This is hard to see, but if you look closely, this caramel colored, almost looks like fumes, of course it's in liquid, it's not really fumes, are coming out of these stones. I mean, it's just been in here two minutes. So it's not actually mixing, there you can see it right back there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the, the oven at maybe 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This has been fewer than three hours at 120 degrees Fahrenheit and the matrix has lost 90% of its color. Well, that's a convenient thing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Something didn't work out the way I expected. Even with my vast knowledge of chemistry, I forgot one thing, one important thing. It's called the Arrhenius equation. It's a complex formula. Let's go into some detail about this. Ah, just kidding. Basically, the Arrhenius equation says that the reaction rate increases a lot more than you expected when you increase the temperature. Look at these bleach decolorized matrix stones. The dark areas are important. So the question comes up, how long does it take to get the bleach out of the stone? Not the acid, but the bleach. There are chemicals that neutralize bleach. I've not tried it yet, but there's sodium metabisulfite. Everybody knows about sodium metabisulfite, right? I'm just kidding. I, you know, nobody really knows about it. Lots of people know about it. But it is a chemical that will neutralize bleach. Or you can choose something less fancy, like ascorbic acid, vitamin C. You can take one for yourself and prevent yourself from getting scurvy. Nobody likes someone with scurvy. Trust me. When people buy Matrix Opal, they only want untreated material. Virgin Matrix. Sort of like those white blocks of Matrix that I treated in my last video. They want to discover the color themselves by treating it themselves. They don't want somebody else's treatment. They want to do it. So if you're trying to sell Matrix, if it's already been treated, it's not going to sell very well. Now, I suppose you're asking yourself, now that I've shown the whole world how to remove treatment from Andamooka Matrix Opal, will people try to sell it as untreated? Can this be prevented? Well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is that based on this video, 
most people will not try to scam you by selling decolorized matrix as untreated. The bad news is, based on my prior experience, I believe that people have known about bleach and its effect on removing the treatment of matrix opal for a long time. Now, I really have no direct proof of this. I've never read anything about bleach in any literature about opal. However, I have bought untreated matrix that was almost definitely already decolorized. Let me show you. If you want to buy some matrix and the photos show areas that are dark, like they are here, don't buy it. It's already been treated. Here's another example. This matrix was sold to me as untreated matrix. To me, the matrix looked promising untreated. This is before I did any treatment. Look at it closely. You don't have to look very closely. Look at these areas. What are those dark spots doing there? Well, untreated matrix doesn't have these spots. These pieces of opal were bleached or otherwise decolorized before they were sold to me as untreated matrix. The treatment went extremely well. They're beautiful, I admit. I couldn't really use the matrix for cabochons because it was too crumbly for some reason, maybe because of the previous treatment with bleach. So I ended up selling the parcel on eBay for about half of what I paid for it. I mean, the matrix is beautiful, but it was not untreated matrix. And that's the takeaway. The takeaway is if you see these dark spots on what is supposedly untreated matrix, it has been treated and has been decolorized. Here's a little preview about what's coming in future video. Monster Matrix. The Opal Cannonball. What are we going to do with this? Also coming soon is Boulder Opal, some of the finest that I've ever seen, courtesy of Murray Willis. Opalized clam, cut and polished. Clam courtesy of NN Opal's Riley Gunn. Cutting is courtesy of yours truly. That's a friend of mine. I don't know why he's got such a silly name. Picture Jasper. Looks like a picture but is a rock. Looks like a picture, but it's still a rock. The buzzer's about to go off here. Click the thumbs up if you like the video, and I want you to know that I have ways to make you hit the subscribe button, so don't make me have to do that. A video every two weeks is my goal, and I want you to know that I'm not the reason that this one is late. It's somebody else's fault. It's gotta be.